By the end of this short video, you're going to have everything that you need to charge an extra $500 per month to all of your Webflow clients. Now, you've probably been in a situation where your design development clients are working with a limited budget, right? They don't want to spend a whole lot on their website. And typically, this isn't because they're out of money, but it's because they feel the pressure to save some money to be able to spend it on marketing and advertising because these are the types of things that they feel are actually going to drive revenue for their business. So let's say a client comes to you with a budget of $10,000 for a website and marketing. Typically, they're only gonna wanna spend about one to $2,000 on the website. This includes design and development. And then the rest of that budget is going to go to things like SEO, Google ads, social media ads, site performance, all of the different things that can actually show a return on investment. Now the frustrating part is once you finish the website, the clients are going to turn around and spend tons of money with some other marketing agency in order to do these services. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to tap into that additional marketing budget so you can get paid more on every project and you can provide way more value to your clients. Now you're going to do this by offering a very specific package of SEO optimization, site performance and page speed, and site maintenance. And the best part about this is you don't have to have any expertise in SEO or marketing, and you don't have to stop doing design to start focusing on marketing. This is a very simple package that's gonna be incredibly easy to offer, and it's going to make you a bunch of money. So let's dive into it. So my goal over the next couple minutes is I'm going to show you the exact package that you're going to be offering. So a checklist of all of the things that you're going to be doing for your client, then I'm gonna show you how to sell it to your clients and how to make it an irresistible offer. And then I'm gonna show you how much you should be pricing this package at. And then at the very end, we're gonna show you exactly how to execute on this, how you're going to do the work and get great results for your clients. So with all that said, here's what you're going to be offering inside this package. So first, you're going to be offering SEO optimization. This is not a full SEO campaign. You don't need to learn SEO but you're going to be offering basic optimization, which means fixing all the critical site elements that Google requires in order to rank a website on the search results. So these are basic elements like page titles, meta descriptions, all of your headings, so your H1s through H6s, your image alt tags, making sure that each page has an adequate word count. These are really basic things that I'm going to show you how to use a tool to do all of this for you. The second thing you're going to be offering is page speed optimization. So you're going to be following the free report provided by Google to go step by step and optimize the site so it's accessible, it's mobile friendly, the pages load fast, and this is going to increase conversions all across the board for your clients. And then you're going to be offering ongoing site maintenance. So this means you're going to have an allotted number of hours that you can make updates for your client. This also means that you're going to be consistently checking in and making sure that the site doesn't go down, that there are no critical errors that might be hurting the ranking of the site, and just generally keeping an eye on what's going on on the website. Now, the reason that I love these three services so much is it requires very minimal input on your end, so it's not going to take a ton of time for you to execute these services, and it requires almost no expertise. So you don't need a background in marketing, in SEO, in site performance. You're just going to be walking step-by-step step through these tools that I'm gonna show you, and they're gonna tell you everything to do. And then the best part of all of this is it is massive value to your clients. They're going to love what you're providing. It's going to help their site conversions. It's going to help their traffic. And all across the board, everybody's going to win. So let's take a second to talk about the tools that you're going to need in order to offer these packages. There's really just two things you need and the first one should be a tool that you already have and that is a way to process payments. So you can use Stripe, you can use Hello Bonsai, which is what I use, whatever you like to do to send invoices to a client and preferably charge them on a monthly basis automatically. And then the second tool that you need is a Webflow plugin called Semflow. This is a tool that my team and I built and this is literally going to do all of the heavy lifting for you. So this plugin integrates right into Webflow. It's going to audit and score your website, and then it's going to give you a checklist of every single thing that you need to do to optimize every page of the website. You're going to be able to track your score and show the improvements and increase to your clients, and this is going to make it incredibly easy to walk through this whole process. Now, the nice part about Semflow is it is a paid tool, but it only costs 15 bucks per month, and with one plan, you can audit unlimited client websites. So for 15 bucks a month, 
you could literally be auditing 50 plus client websites. And so if you imagine each of those clients paying you a few hundred dollars per month, 15 bucks a month to pay for SEMflow, it's pretty reasonable. And then as an honorable mention, we are going to be using Google PageSpeed Insights, but this is actually integrated into SEMflow, so don't worry about that for now. All right, so now let's talk about how you're going to sell this optimization package to your clients. I would recommend not even bringing this up during your initial talks and contract. You're just gonna to wanna to dive in and finish your design and development. And then as you near the end of the project and you're almost ready to launch, you can just bring this up casually to your client. You can ask them a simple question like, have you put any thought into how you're going to market and optimize this website? And typically speaking, they're gonna say, oh, no, I haven't thought that far along. I'll probably decide what I'm gonna do with marketing down the road. And this is a perfect opportunity for you to say, well, we have a really affordable package that's going to help optimize your site and it's going to do X, Y, and Z to help you accomplish this goal. And so by pitching it like this, it's going to make it really easy for them to say yes because number one, they're already working with you. It's gonna be a really easy transition because they know you, they've already communicated with you, they know how you work, they trust you. And so it should be really easy to just push them into a new contract for this ongoing site optimization work. Now this goes for selling pretty much anything, but when you are pitching somebody on a service, you wanna make sure that you're not focusing just on the features, or in other words, what you actually do. Instead, you wanna focus on the benefits of what you do, or in other words, help them see what their life is going to look like and how their life is going to improve if they hire you for these services. So a couple benefits of this optimization package that you're offering are, it's going to prevent your client's site from getting red flagged by Google, it's going to provide small increases in ranking on Google, which means more traffic to their website, it's going to ensure that their pages show up for the proper search terms on search engines, it's going to increase the user experience and conversion rate of their website, mainly because all their pages are going to be loading faster, it's going to make their site more accessible to everyone, which is technically legally required, and so this is certainly something that they should be prepared to invest money in. And possibly even most important, they're going to get a sense of relief, and they're not going to have to stress about their site going down, getting hacked, getting penalized by Google, because you're gonna be watching over it all the time. You're basically going to act as a security guard for their website. Now, a lot of clients might not have ever considered that these things are necessary, and so it's gonna be your job to help them understand the importance but also as a salesperson, you wanna act like this is the standard. This is something that every single website must have because that's true. If your client wants their website to succeed, they need these services and they need somebody looking out for their website month after month. Now as one quick side note, you are not offering a full SEO campaign, you're not offering a full advertising campaign, and so you will find that clients want you to promise some sort of result or some sort of traffic increase. And so you wanna remind them that this is not a full advertising campaign. Instead, this is a campaign to offer security, maintenance, and best practices to make sure that their site is in good standings with their customers and with Google. So don't make any big promises that you can't fulfill. All right, so now let's talk about how we wanna package and price these services. So there are really two ways you can do this. The first is what I would recommend, and that is providing these services on a month-to-month -month basis. So in this first package, you're gonna see that I'm charging $500 a month, and really all that I'm going to be offering is ongoing SEO optimization using the SEMflow tool, ongoing PageSpeed Insights improvements using Google PageSpeed Insights, ongoing site maintenance, which means weekly check-ins, and site updates for however many hours you want to offer every month. This might be one hour, this might be five hours, whatever you feel is cost effective for your time. But this basically means that they're getting ongoing maintenance and improvements on their website and they have somebody that is always on standby to help them make design or development updates whenever they need. And this is a huge selling point because when they do need something updated, they don't wanna to have to find a new Webflow designer and start a new contract and explain what's going on. They just wanna have you on tap, ready to go if they need these updates made. And so help them see the vision of how nice this is going to be having you on a monthly retainer like this. Now you don't necessarily have to charge $500 for this. Maybe you only charge $500 for the larger clients. 
and maybe your smaller clients, you only charge one or $200 per month. But regardless of what you charge, having this recurring revenue is going to be an absolute game changer for your business. Now, your second option, if you feel the client might not want to do a recurring service like that, you could just charge a one-time fee. Maybe this is over the span of two or three months, and there's going to be a one-time charge, let's say for $1,500, and you're going to do all of the SEO optimization with the SEMflow plugin, and you're going to do ongoing PageSpeed Insights improvements using Google PageSpeed Insights. Now, to be able to quantify exactly how much work you're going to be doing, I would make some sort of guarantee like you're going to get all of these scores above a 95% or a 90%. Now, I would never promise 100% because there are always going to be elements of a website that they don't wanna change, that might be preventing their SEO or site performance scores from getting much higher than a 90%. So make reasonable promises that you can deliver on. Now, the nice part about this again is this is a one-time charge of $1,500 or maybe you charge $3,000 but a lot of times you could finish this work within a few short days. And so it's gonna be a great way to increase the lifetime value of all of your Webflow projects. So now let's talk about doing the work. Now I don't wanna give you an entire demo on how SEMflow works. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna drop a link to the full demo so you can see how to integrate SEMflow into Webflow, how to audit sites, how to go through the checklist. But basically all you're going to do for your clients is once they sign up, you're going to integrate SEMflow into their project, you're going to run the audit, and then just go step by step doing all of the optimizations and making sure that their score is increasing over time. Now, if you're doing this on a month to month basis, you don't wanna do everything in the first month, mainly because this is going to require a ton of your time. And if they see their site go from 50% to 100%, they're gonna be frustrated in month two. Even if you did a ton of extra work in month one to try to get ahead of schedule, if you can't show consistent work and improvements month over month, they might get frustrated about paying a monthly fee. Now, the exact same thing goes for Google PageSpeed Insights. So with SEMflow integrated into Webflow, on every page you can go and click Activate on Google PageSpeed Insights. This is going to give you scores for both desktop and mobile, and this score is going to take into account the accessibility, mobile friendliness, load times, and a ton of other SEO elements that will give you a really accurate overview of how the page is performing. And right from SEMflow, you can click view full report, and this is gonna show you an entire list of all the things you have to do. Now, if there's ever a task that you don't understand, you can just copy and paste it into Google, and Google will tell you exactly what to do to make that specific improvement. So you can see how these tools are doing all of the heavy lifting, and you just have to be good at following directions and tracking your progress. That's gonna be the most important part of this is showing them the increase month over month. Now, currently on these tools, there's not really a great way to show them an overview of, you know, here's your score six months ago and here's your score today. So what I would recommend is taking a screenshot at every step. So with SEMflow, take a screenshot after your first audit where it shows, you know, 54%. And then a month later, you can take a screenshot when you've got that up to 81%. And then you can show them the before and after so they feel like there's been some great improvements. Now, another thing that you can do that is free is you could use a tool like Google Search Console just to keep track of the website standing with Google. This means if there are any errors or red flags or warnings, you'll be able to catch those early and make those changes. And so if that's something you wanna throw into this package, Again, Google Search Console is totally free to use. And like these other tools, it pretty much gives you a step-by-step -step of how to do the optimizations and the fixes. And then the final thing you have to do is just maintain the website. Check in on it, make sure it doesn't go down, be quick to respond when the client needs any design updates. And just like that, you have a full package that you can work on month after month and get paid every single month for it. Now, I'm really excited to see how you utilize and customize this package to make it work for your Webflow clients. And I know that the additional revenue every single month is gonna be really motivating for you to start providing these types of services to all of your clients. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below to let me know that this is the type of content that's helpful for you. And if you haven't yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I have new videos like this one coming out almost every single day. So thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.